Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you how to remove an axle shaft from your rear axle, the ones that are equipped with the C-clips, and how to get them out. Let's say you want to service uh, seals, bearings, or you need to service that rear end and the axle shaft's got to come out. Well, I'm going to get changed and we're going to go down to pick apart where we're going to pull a couple axles out because i got to get some parts off this particular rear end. All right, well, let's get started. All right, I'm down here to pick apart. I got an 03 Durango right there, Dodge Durango. And as you can see, it's got disc brakes on it. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to end up pulling the rear cover off and get that C clip out of there. But first we got to uh, remove the caliper and then the rotor. And that way we can push the axle in and get that C clip out of there. So I'm going to show you how to get to pull an axle out of a nine and a quarter. Now this is going to be very similar for a lot of vehicles out there. Anything with a C clip in it. And if you got a rotor, uh, rear end, disc brake rear end. All right, well, let's get going. Because it's like 108, 109 out here right now. Yuck. And uh, what, 3.30 in the afternoon. I just got off work and rushed down here. So we got like an hour to get this out of here. All right, there's a couple 10 millimeter bolts to pull the caliper off. But we also got to get that bracket off of there. And those are 21 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and just go for those and, and take out the bracket and the caliper at once. See if that works. For such a large bolt, I'm surprised they weren't tighter. They do have like a factory blue Loctite on them. It's got like these little clips on it. There's one or two usually holding that rotor on there. Now, let's see if the e-brake is set. Sure enough, the e-brake was set. Yep, look at that, there we go. All right, we got the rotor off. All right, now at this point, we're gonna take the uh, rear cover off. All right, this is a uh, 13 millimeter. We got 110 right there. Oh, I take it back. 11 millimeter right there. Now using a large screwdriver there and a hammer and just break the seal between the cover and the differential. Now I found a transmission pan lying around the uh, yard there to catch go. all the fluid so it doesn't run just right onto the ground. Oh that smells great. And I'm being sarcastic. Okay. Okay, right here, you can see the bolt. This secures the cross pin. Eight millimeter socket, or whatever you want to use. Wrench works well too. All right, you can see there's that you got a pin that go, a pin on this bolt that goes through a hole on the cross pin. 
now. I'm reaching back here behind the uh, differential, pushing that cross pin out. And once you get it out this far, take this bolt, slip it in here, and you use that to pull it out. Now we rotate the drive shaft so we can see those uh, C clips. It's one of the side gears. The C clips are in here. I'm going to go ahead and push this axle inward and you'll see it exposed. Now we're ready to pull the axle out of here. All right. See, that's pretty easy to remove the axles. Now, to reinstall, it's basically reverse. You're going to push it in all the way. Put the C-clip back on and what I recommend is get out a little Vaseline or some axle grease. Place it on that C-clip or on this slot right here. And that way when you stick it on there and you're by yourself, it won't fall back off when you go to pull the axle back out. Because you'll need to do that to get the cross pin back in. And now if you're pulling the axle to replace that seal or this bearing, you're ready to do that or if you're looking to do bigger projects like maybe do a rear end gear change or something like that you know in that differential right there or maybe you're looking to get these disc brakes and do a little conversion uh, that's actually what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this and the other side and uh, I'm also gonna go check out and see make sure it actually fits on a drum nine and a quarter well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative and if you did i'd sure appreciate the thumbs up that helps out the channel immensely and if you never subscribed to me before please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it and that way you're notified the next time i upload a video i'm also an amazon affiliate where you'll find links in the description down below where you can find tools and products that we may have used in this video and you can do all your Amazon shopping through that link and that way the channel earns a small commission. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.